Welcome to the first in a series of how to fill out a Roll20 character sheet using More Purple More Better's character creation PDF. In this video we are going to create a game to make our character in and we are going to start filling out the character sheet. First, log in to Roll20, or if you haven't used Roll20 yet, create an account. After logging in, you will see the main page. Click on the red button to create a new game. We're going to use this game as a place to create and store our characters, so I called this one Character Vault. Feel free to name it anything you want. After naming the game, scroll down and select your character sheet. Wizards of the Coast supports the OGL sheet for 5th edition, so that is what we are going to select. Click the button to actually create the game. On the new screen that appears, click the red launch button to actually start the game. It will take a few moments to load. On the upper right hand corner, click the icon that looks a bit like a newspaper labeled Journal. Click on the Add button and select Character Sheet. On the pop-up that appears, go ahead and give your character its name. Also, if you have a token ready for it, drag it onto the square labeled Token. After clicking Save, go ahead and open the character sheet you made earlier on MPMB. If you don't have the character already made, go ahead and click on the link in the description for the video that teaches you how to make a character using MPMB. I'm using the Hexblade turtle that I made in the last video. For ease of recording, I am using only one monitor and I'm using the built-in tiling feature in Windows to split the screen between Roll20 and MPMB. Click on your character sheet in Roll20, resize it to fit your screen, and scroll to the top. I'll begin by clicking on Class and selecting Warlock. This will fill out a few spots on the sheet for us. I went ahead and gave myself a one hit die. Go ahead and fill out the information on the top of the sheet. Since this is a level one character, it will not have any experience points yet. Scrolling down a little, I get all of my attributes on the screen. You put your attribute scores in the small bubble, not the large box. The box shows your character's modifier for that score.
after filling out the scores, I go ahead and click on the checkboxes for the skills I have, and then I fill my character's speed. The turtle race gets a bonus to AC, so I go ahead and modify the AC on the sheet to match. Scrolling down in the MPMB, I stop at the proficiency section. In Roll20, underneath the Attributes, Skills, and Passive Perception is a section labeled Tool Proficiencies and Custom Skills. Our Hexblade here is proficient in gaming sets and thieves tools, so I click on the plus symbol and type the name of the tool in the blank provided. Clicking on the word Strength gives us the choices on which attribute to use. Both of these tools use Dexterity. After filling out the information, click on the small gear icon to close. Under Tool Proficiencies is a box labeled Other Proficiencies in Languages. Click on the plus icon again. This line is already set up for languages, so I just type in the languages my character knows. In this case, Common and Aquan. After clicking in the gear to close, I click on the plus again and then click on the word languages to select the word weapons. Type in the weapons your character is proficient with. Usually you will add a third line for armor, but in the racial traits on my character PDF it states the turtles cannot wear any armor. I click on the small symbol that looks like a lock and this will cause the red boxes to appear. I can click on the box for the line I just added and it will delete the line. Clicking on the lock symbol again causes the delete buttons to disappear. Now I copy and paste the personality traits, ideals, bonds, and flaws in. Click on the gear after putting the information in. We are getting really close to having the main part of this core sheet filled out. Now I'm going to put in the racial traits and class features. Just like the proficiencies, click on the little plus sign to open a new line. For racial traits, just put the title in, then copy and paste each trait individually.
For class features, after clicking on the plus sign, click the word racial next to the line that says source and select class. On the source type line, put in your class and the level you got the feature. For this character, I just type in Hexblade Level 1. I like to tidy up the lines by deleting spaces and adding periods, but don't feel like you have to do this step. Finally, I fill in the background feature the exact same way. Congratulations! You've created a Roll20 game to make characters in and have a really good start on your first character. The next video will be about adding equipment and weapons to your sheet, with the final episode covering how to add spells. Thank you for watching!